Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this Google Cloud Next session. We are going to discuss frontline workers and how AppSheet and Google Workspace can enable a significant portion of the workforce. Today, we want to cover a few concepts and tools that will help your digitization strategy for frontline workers in your organization. We will cover AppSheet, Google Workspace, and give you a few examples of the types of tools that you can implement to enable those frontline workers. To start, let's talk about frontline workers, who they are, and what, how it's critical for them to connect with company-wide resources. When you think about frontline workers, think about team members that support internal and customer-facing tasks. There are a few ways to identify your frontline workers. One of them is if they're deskless, if they actually, most of their job is done outside of a desk. Another way of identifying them is that they are primarily using handheld devices. So in some cases, you will have workers that do have a desk, but most of the time they're being productive while on the go. Now we can actually group frontline workers in two big groups. The first group is frontline workers that are task oriented. That means people are doing field operations. Think about people that run inspections, run machinery, provide safety training, provide guidance in the field people who really don't have a desk and are making the business run smoothly. The second group is what we call service-oriented roles. Those are mostly customer engagement people. So people that are in the field doing customer engagement. So think about retail operations um, and also think about other similar scenarios like customer uh, engagement and customer support. Now, let me give you a couple of examples of how that could look in two different industries. I'll start with uh, an online retailer. You would imagine that online retailers have mostly desk workers because they are pretty much delivering an online experience. But in reality, online retailers have a high density of frontline workers. For example, you have delivery partners, the people that actually do deliveries for the company. You also have warehouse employees, people who are making warehouse operations run smoothly. And finally, you also have this type of customer uh, support agents who are doing frontline work by supporting the customers. The other industry that I want you to see is uh, manufacturing industry, where you can find actually more clearly the different type of frontline works operating in the organization. You would find, for example, shop floor teams. So think about the people that operate, maintain the equipment for the manufacturing plant. Think about operations managers who are in the shop floor, making sure that operations are running smoothly and making sure that are done in a compliant way. And finally, you will find different people working on around safety. And in the context of the current new normal, where you have even more stricter uh, safety and security uh, guidelines to run your business, safety coordination becomes really important. Those type of frontline workers need the tools to be more efficient while they are in the shop floor. Now, let's try to bring that all together in the concept of why would you want to connect them and ensure that they have the type of digitization tools and the type of tools that are required to be more efficient in the workplace. So what I want you to see in this view is that even when you have software implemented, so be it off, you know, off the shelf uh, software or custom made software that is made with you know, code, many processes and tasks still require offline or more complicated digital work to be completed. So one example for frontline workers is when they are required to return to an office to perform a digital task. This is a very common use case where Somebody's in the field, for example, in construction, they have to make a purchase of material, they do it in the field, but they are still required to go back to headquarters to submit the receipt and maybe write in a report about the task that they just performed. So sometimes those frontline workers actually have to spend several hours per week returning to a desk, just a temporary desk, to do data entry, complete digital training, maybe submit some structured data back to headquarters. That happens with different tools. In many cases, those tools are actually created and used by the frontline workers themselves. Think about using SMS or maybe capturing photos with their phone, but really stored in their own photo galleries, uh, maybe doing pen and paper and then translating that into a, into a digital format. So those kind of processes are enabled by tools that are not really under the control and governance of the IT organization. And that's what we're trying to, to solve for here with a frontline worker. I want to show you 
a couple of examples of how you could create the tooling and implement the tooling that connects Google Workspace and AppSheet to make sure that those frontline workers have the right type of experience in order to be more productive while on the go. In the demo, we'll show you an app that has multiple capabilities. Each one of them can be launched as a separate app, but for the purpose of this session, it's all going to be presented as a single app. We'll also show you how these app experiences are deeply integrated with Google Workspace. So this field team application is an app that you could create and customize on your own to make sure that it covers the processes that your organization runs. So let's take a quick look at this demo. OK, so here's the Frontline Field Team application. The first feature I want to show you is the Team Directory feature. Now, before I get started, I actually want to show you something. I'm going to switch screens and show you the underlying data that powers this particular section of the app. This is a very familiar view for many. This is just a Google Sheet that is also acting as the database for the application. And this is the first point that I want to call out of how AppSheet and Google Workspace work together to deliver more customized experiences for frontline workers. I'll give you a quick example. So let's change Peter's role from agent to technician. So I'm going to switch back to the app and I'll find Peter. And I'm going to click on this little pencil to edit the record. And I'm going to edit the record in the app. You're also noticing that the app is loaded as a browser app. It could also be loaded as a mobile application, uh, both on tablets and in smartphones. So I'm going to switch from agent to technician, and I'm going to hit save. What you'll notice here is that AppSheet is producing a change in the data that made Peter a technician also in the Google Sheet. Effectively, the Google Sheet is the database for the app. Let me show you a couple more things that you can do with people information with Google Sheets and AppSheet apps. Back in the app, you'll notice that I can also include visual information like pictures in the records. I can also uh, automatically allow for emails to be sent or for phones to be called or text. I'm also able to show related information to the data that I already had in the app. You will notice that this is showing related jobs and it's also showing a picture. But if I switch back to the app, to the, to the sheet, excuse me, you will notice that the only data in this sheet is just Peter's information. The related information is seated, sitting here in jobs. Let me show you a second feature of this app. I'm going to go back to the menu and I'm going to show you the customers feature. For reference, let me switch back to the Google Sheet and show you the customers. You will notice also very familiar data, emails, names, addresses, and phones, phone numbers. Now, this is all mock data, but an interesting thing that AppSheet does is that when AppSheet finds that there are addresses or location data in an application, it'll display like the data in a map. So when I click in customers, I can actually browse that data like so. Let me actually show you one of the records. AppSheet would automatically adapt to display the right type of information at the right time. In this case, it's using Google Maps to display information, uh, geographic information on a map, but it's also showing you the rest of the record as a side pane inside of the map itself. It also links out to the Google Maps driving directions functionality. Or if you enjoy doing Street View, you can also drop and do a little bit of Street View in your app. All right, let's go back. Another capability available with AppSheet and Google Workspace is the ability to include Google Drive folders inside of AppSheet applications. This enables a new scenario where you can deploy information back to your frontline user. The example we have here is a documentation feature where a collection of PDFs that are stored inside of a Google Drive are displayed as an app for the frontline worker to have quicker access. The files can be loaded 
directly in the browser. In dynamic frontline work environments, speed and efficiency matter. Google Workspace has time-saving communication and collaboration tools designed to work seamlessly even in busy or loud workplaces. For example, your frontline workers can communicate by chat, email, or video, all from one place, the Gmail mobile app. And for this frontline field team demo application made with AppSheet, we created a daily stand-up where your frontline worker can just click on the meet information so they can load a video chat with their team members as a daily stand-up. The last feature I wanna show you is how AppSheet uses automation to send notifications back to a Google chat. If I click on the feedback section, I can create a quick comment. When I save this comment, the comment itself is going to be stored in a Google Sheet. But through automation, we're also sending a notification to Google Chat. So when I navigate to Google Chat, I can see a bot posting the new message. There are many other features that you can add to a frontline field team application. In this example, we have things like task management via the jobs section. We also have simple contract management to sign and approve. We have a quick analytics section that provides insights about the jobs that are done in the field. And a customer receives feature. What most of AppSheet customers do when they start using AppSheet and Google Workspace is that they add the functionality that they need for the particular scenarios that they need to cover. This is just a starting point, but you can start envisioning applications that add more functionality as more needs for customization appear, bringing together the capabilities of Google Workspace and AppSheet. These applications, when they're created with AppSheet, are what we call no-code applications. Let me show you a little bit of what creating with no code means. Here is the editing environment for the application that we just created. You will notice that it has multiple sections for the different types of data that is managing. Changing the behavior of your application is as simple as making configuration options on your app. That means that you get to create and deploy your applications without writing any code. I'll do a simple cosmetic change to the app so you get an idea of what this is. If I go to UX and I go to brand, I can actually change the primary color of my app and deploy it to my users in a moment. So the next time they use the application, the new change is available to them. Creating apps with no code means that more people have access to digitization. This means that more customized experiences can be created with AppSheet and Google Workspace. Let's talk a little bit more about this. All right, so let's continue talking a little bit more about how AppSheet empowers people to create their own applications, so in particular business users to create their own applications. The business user is the closest to the process or the task at hand. So it is a very powerful proposition to make sure that they also have the tooling to solve the digitization challenges that they have. AppSheet is a no-code platform that enables anyone from IT to line of business to rapidly develop those applications. They can create applications by simply connecting the data, whatever database they have. As you saw in the demo, you can use Google Sheets as well, and connect it to AppSheet to build the application with no code. And it's also very quick to deploy to the end users. AppSheet apps work great on both mobile and desktop devices and can connect to a wide variety of data sources, including spreadsheets, cloud databases, and on-premise databases. AppSheet brings agility to businesses by allowing teams to build and iterate really fast. Getting app updates to end users happens in seconds, not weeks. It also empowers teams to configure their own solutions. There's no need for coders to get, get applications going. So instead of thinking about multiple month projects, you can think about multiple days or potentially weeks. But what you're really doing here is that you're enabling and empowering that, that workforce to create the solutions that they need based on the knowledge they have of the business. At the end, 
Your teams will have that ability to extend Google Workspace with custom apps and auto apps and automations with AppSheet. In the demo, we show you many capabilities of AppSheet apps that can be enabled for field workers, from being able to make phone calls, to mapping, to automatically sending emails, to automatically sending updates to Google Chat. So another way of seeing this is that you'll be able to create suites of apps that are very customized to the processes you run. You saw a suite of apps for field workers, but you could also think about suites of apps for desk workers or combinations of, of, of the different type of workers you have in your organization. So Google provides a united set of solutions that enable your desk and deskless workforce. And as a key takeaway from this session, we want you to think about this offering as a complex set of capabilities that Google offers. Think about Chrome and Android to enable mobile capabilities in a variety of form factors. Also think about how Workspace is used for collaboration and creation tools. Make sure that all of your employees are connected. And finally, think about AppSheet as a way of creating an application layer on top of Google Workspace, allowing for custom applications and automations to be created both by IT and by your line of business users. So uh, we hope that you enjoyed this presentation. If you're interested in learning more about enabling your frontline workers with AppSheet and Google Workspace, we encourage you to join the other AppSheet and Google Workspace session at Google Cloud Next. See you next time. Thank you.